take you to the site where the Ripper first struck. The journalists always seem to get the word first. We get there, they've trampled the evidence, and next day's headlines are dripping with blood. The few hundred yards between Flower and Dean Street have become so dangerous that even my best constables are afraid to patrol Whitechapel at night. Let's take a carriage, shall we? I'd rather not get egg on my face again today. I'll drive. What has become of this borough? Whitechapel is a cesspool of crime, Miss Fry, where terror reigns supreme. Elsewhere, the rich get richer, but here, the poor are living on the living, fighting to survive each day. Reporters share a view of Whitechapel as a lair of savages, monsters, and werewolves who hold honest citizens in a state of terror. The Ripper's terror. far from where Mary Ann Nichols was murdered. I knew her as Polly, and that's what her friends called her. But the woman who died here is not the woman I met a few times at the frying pan pub. Then who was she? I was hoping you could tell me. Go see for yourself. This is where the Ripper committed his first murder. Was Miss Nichols' body identified? Her husband hadn't seen her in 11 years. He barely glanced at the poor, mutilated woman before he had the gall to forgive her for what she'd done to him. The press reported widely that Miss Nichols' finger bore the mark of a ring. It was forcibly removed, and the same is true for his other victims. What did you discover? Give me a moment. 